Welcome to Jeff and John Cox here. Now Sensei, Jeff, the kids martial art program. And then second part of my video, I want to talk about the Chum Q Monad. What is the Chum Q Monad? And why don't you know Bucci yet, Sifu? And then um, I want to talk about the seven plus one sections that we do at Iron Dog Gym. Chum Q Monad. Seven plus one section. So, Chum Q is our kickboxing form. And in our principle, we don't waste anything because we don't have time for that. So, Sunim Tao is all of our basic mo joint movements in a seated position on our legs. And then we have all of our basic combos, some in dual pairs, some in, you know, man, long stuff and then we add the lifting punch and the lance out hooking punches we add the um and lung ting wing chun we have a high man sow for some stuff that we add but we add the kicks right and that's it no more forms. And you have an entire martial art. You have a lifetime achievement you could try. 20 years of hard work. 20 years of hard work minimum to get Kung Fu good in Chum Q. And then, Buchi and Wooden Dummy and anything else. Those are, like, you have to escape Chum Q to allow those things to come out of you. Uh, you can't do them as a martial art. Then you would have to go find Chum Q to make your Buchi better. You can't do it in the other direction. So, a monad, this German mathematician named Leibniz used the word monad to try to express something we use in calculus. That's the idea of all of an equation, right? So if there's a bunch of math in a 3D model, and then I gotta move that around, that's math, now I had to move it. It's now upside down math and left and right math, right? And then I slam it into another 3D model and I gotta, I gotta do a lot of math in there, right? So how do, you, how do you hold all of that math together as a monad? Or if you say the color blue, there's a lot of different shades of blue covered in some of it's green to some people, but it's still blue. So that's part of a monad. So how do I talk about blue and green these two monads that have a verge or diagram where they overlap. Monad, right? So Chum Q Monad is my video series for the last few years. And I'm a Chum Q kickboxer. And uh, this is how we've taught Iron Long Gym since the 90s, right? It's like what judo is based on. What Kano said, you can't do it if you can't train it. So the, the kickboxing lot sow type of chi sow, you can do it. It's safe hurts you can have accidents right if you do it to a mugger you know if you do it to a low level of violent offender it knocks them out but plain is simple right so it's not really for sport because part of the lots out kickboxer is a ball so smash the groin up into the sternum and that's not allowed in sport so so, you know, you have to, that's one of these lines that keeps us right out of that type of kickboxing. Um, that's AWTO standard, we used to call it, right? It's American Wing Chun Organization 1990 standard. And Chum Q, the form, is just parts, the same as the Sunum Tao, is just parts. And then we have to go out and shadow box with it, right? So I'll take a part of the form and it comes back. And then I do it three times in the form, right? And then I do a punch and I do something back this way or down here, whatever it is you guys do, right? But it could just be something where I go like this right there. You know, you put the parts together, right? I don't have to go all the way and wait for it to be on this side. You take the, all the parts of the Chum Q, take the Lance Owls, take the jumping punch and the punch underneath, 
I can take all the parts. And so I might do these over here. Straight at you too. I could have this bomb. Yeah. What if it was with this one, right? So what if I caught their arm and rolled it up and then turned and grabbed it and punched them? What's this? Is this from Buge? It, that's from the third form? But what if I take the end of Jump Cube and I grab the Lung Ting system has that with Sidekick? And then a few of those. And I do a hooking punch coming back from the Lance House. What? That's from Buge too? Wait a minute. So the monad, the chum Q monad of the Lung Ting Wing Chun Iron Dog Gym style encompasses Soon and Tao and Buchi on either side. And the monad is a thing in the middle that's the way they go back to each other. And then um, they're within a bigger circle then. So that, that's a figure eight if you want to get off and then rotate the figure eight around. So what's up in here? Now, um, you have to escape the chum Q. Let's see, so chum Q, soon him down to chum Q, self defense to kickboxer is a very rigid, hard style. You got the gi on still, right? You're wearing gear and stuff. And then the soon him down chum Q sections catch up, the chi sao catches up, and uh, your time has to get split. Maybe 50 50 at some point. I do chi sao and I add that to this lot sao, right? But your lot sao gets softer and softer, and your chi sao to try it in lot sao goes like this, and the, the hard put, put a mouthpiece in lot sao gets less and less. That's the point. I'm 51. Yeah, and a half. So I'm 51 and a half. I'm not gonna put a mouthpiece on every Wednesday anymore once a month at the most, right? And I heal all my joints and stuff. But I'll go do chi sao twice a week, three times a week. I'll train beginners four days a week on top of that. That's a workout. T teaching kids karate. All right, and trying to not do double, trying to not do it like I would do it. It's all the same moves. <laughs>